Good afternoon, my dear students. I am teaching class 10, chapter 2, that is of chemistry, acid, bases, and salt. In the last lecture, we have studied about the acids and we have studied about the chemical properties of acids. There were four reactions reaction with metal, reaction with metal hydrogen carbonate, and reaction with metallic oxide. And last reaction was the test for CO2. Now, in this lecture, we will be studying about the chemical properties of the bases. So, there are two reactions which will depict the chemical properties of the bases. In the last lecture, we have told you bases are bitter in taste and they turn red litmus to blue. So, reaction with metals. When highly concentrate base reacts with metal, they evolve salt and hydrogen gas. For example, when a metal is reacting with the base it will as a product it will give salt plus hydrogen gas let us understand this with a chemical reaction so metal we can take as zinc metal and it is reacting with two molecules of sodium hydroxide then what it will give it will give Na2ZnO2. This is a salt sodium zincate with the evolution of one molecule of hydrogen gas. Next reaction will be reaction with non metallic oxides. So, reaction of bases with non metallic oxide. Reaction with non metallic oxides okay students and you know the nature of non metallic oxide will be acidic nature that means if i take a non metal like carbon and it is oxide so it will be carbon dioxide and when it will react with a base that base will be calcium hydroxide it will give us calcium carbonate plus water so salt and water will be released ok students when a non metallic oxide is reacting with the base it will form calcium carbonate and a water molecule now we come to reaction between acids and bases reaction between acids and bases so basically this is a kind of neutralization reaction because the acidity will be neutralized by the base or the basicity will be neutralized by the acid to form salt and water that is why it is also known as neutralization reaction in the board exam it has been asked several times why it is called a neutralization reaction because it neutralizes the effect of the acid or vice versa it neutralizes the effect of the base so if we write the general formula it will be acid plus base and it will react to form salt and water let us take an example like hcl hydrochloric acid will be reacting with the base that is sodium hydroxide and it will form nacl so nacl will be the salt sodium chloride will be the salt formed and HOH will be your water that will become H2O. So this is the general reaction acid plus base react to give salt and water. Now students we will be learning about acids or bases when they are dissolved in water that is when they are in water solution. So, respectively, acid gives H plus ions and bases give hydroxyl or OH minus ions. That means your hydrogen ion is an unstable ion. Suppose I am taking HCl. 
okay so it will dissociate to form h plus and chloride ion so this h plus is unstable and it will react with the water molecule h2o and it will form a hydronium ion so we can call it as release of h plus ion or the release of hydronium ion that particular substance will be called as acids okay now we come to the bases bases suppose like any oh is there that is a base so in the presence of water in the presence of water it will release na plus sodium ion next it will, it will release oh minus so this will be your hydroxyl ion so your NaOH or sodium hydroxide will be called as base because it is releasing hydroxyl ion. Now we will learn about effect of dilution. Effect of dilution on acids and bases. So what is the effect of dilution? That means there is decrease in the concentration of either H plus ion or hydronium ion or there is a decrease in the concentration of the OH minus ion. So what happens? It says if HCl is diluted with water, what it will give? It will give us H3O plus chloride ion. Same way, if we consider a base and we add water to it, so what it will give? It will give me sodium ion plus hydroxyl ion. Okay students, so that means there is decrease in concentration of the ions per unit volume. And the last is addition of, addition of acids to water or mixing of acids to water this is a very important part this says when water is added the acids gets diluted so if this will be your water present in the beaker this is your water present in the beaker what we should do we should always add acid to it we should always do this. We should never add water to the acid. If we add water to the acid, that reaction will be highly exothermic and accident may occur. So it is advisable. What we do? We add slowly, slowly. We slowly add acid into the water so that the dilution process takes place. So students, we have completed the chemical properties of bases, the chemical properties of acids. In the next lecture, we will be learning about the properties of salts, indicators and these acid bases and salts, how they are used in everyday life. So students, kindly please go through the lecture of your NCRT. Please follow these reactions. They are very important for your board. So stay at home and study thoroughly. Thank you.